town outside St. Petersburg. Truly powerful place to stand at earlier. This is something that every Soviet family had, produced in Leningrad. Ghostbusters, 21.40. So much history in, in Sivalos. We're gonna check out. It is a bit rough. Это мои родители, братья. Да? В чем сила, So right uh, across the uh, Doma Vyatrov House of Aviators, this is here. This here behind me is the road of life, дом жизни, дорога жизни, дорога жизни. Right now, quite disrespected by this huge traffic and angry drivers but we can see on the cross the, the house of aviators we can see one of the many uh, statues and memorials for for uh, road of life because this was constantly bombarded by the by the Germans because they knew they couldn't just fully in circle Leningrad, just 99.9% .9%. and uh, this is what they did it says дорога жизни дорога жизни щелк нам хлеб definitely not uh, honoring this place this this road now this is monument on the Rumbolovsky mountain which is there you can see it says that uh, Rumbolska mountain is a memorial that belongs to the green belts of glory of Leningrad erected by workers on the Fruns district of Leningrad on the road of life in 1967 in Sevolosk. The memorial is located at the slopes of high mountain of sand of laying the first stone of the memorial assembly took place on May 7th May 1965 in honor of the honor of 20th anniversary of victory in the great patriotic war and the birch, 20 birch trees were planted there you can see behind me these birch trees uh, the monument made in the shape of metal oak and laurel, laurel leaves which symbolize life and glory and the corn in front of them is to symbolize the new life next to monument the steel of with images of trucks and text of the poem through the road of life came our bread the road of many people's friendship not yet was known on earth such terrible and joyful road truly powerful place to stand understanding what's what has what was how what people went through it's, it's uh, very hard that's the uh, road of life i just came up well small section of it and of course just came up from uh, from down there from that uh, previous location on my way to the next location and uh, uh, it's a Hram Spasa Nieru Kotornovo Obraza I cannot fix it it probably doesn't help you guys it's Bogom check it out this is a beautiful place that's probably not the main entrance Trapeza Muzia Ryabova Okay, so it's, this is Ryabova is uh, in Finnish, it's Ryabova. And uh, here is the church, Finnish, it used to be Ingrian Finn location. It's uh, Ryabova, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go straight ahead from this church here in Sivalusk to the next location. We're gonna go out and check the memorial of the road of life all right managed to run across the road of life to this location oh wow what is this it's a memorial and also for the truck memorial because these trucks was what brought all that material to to Leningrad that saved millions of lives, literally millions. Oh, uh, is this children's names? Memorial Ekipaju 
и пассажирам рейса 7К. So this is the memorial for for uh, for the uh, for the staff and the passengers of uh, route 7K9268 Pagimshim. They died in 2015 over uh, in Egypt in the memory of uh, those people who died. Very sad. We are moving on to the next location. Because we need to see as much as we can from Sivalusk. And here's the, the truck, Pamit, Mashine Saldata. So the memory memorial for uh, uh, car soldier, so to, so to speak. Here's the... Uh, it's the uh, Russian helmet, sorry. Russian helmet. Памятник сооружен благотворительным фондом. So this was uh, erected by the people. Check it out. Barbed wire. Georgian ribbons. Here's the car, oh my god. These trucks carried probably millions of tons of supplies. Standing on the barbed wire fence. So much history in here in Sivalusk, so much history. It's uh, very very touching so here's the uh, memorial for Daroga Zizni Road of Life commemorative kilometer post this is post number 10 meaning it's the 10th kilometer of this Road of Life and it continues there towards the Lake Ladoga they crossed the lake with supplies and continue to St. Petersburg then Leningrad touching memory of you will serve, will uh, save the upcoming generations Slava Vas Pereživit Vjeka not sure how to translate it so much so this was such a huge deed such a, such a life saving country nation saving thing basically your deeds will will uh, live on forever that's what it said there's another memorial here on the square of memorials I guess so this is whole park is basically a memorial park it's commemorating the, the heroes for for the for Russia for uh, father fatherland here we can see the uh, I think it's a, a bigger ship let's see what's what, what it's called it's uh, ah, okay this thing what it's standing on that was the uh, actual metallic aerodrome from the First World War this was uh, located in Vain Aerodrome Vremion Kildin Kildin at yeah, the Barents Sea, that's what it says. So one plate is uh, was 41 kilograms, one three meters long, and the ship. This is EL4. EL4 was released in 39 to 45. Six people personnel. Constructed by Illusion, 14.8 meters long and uh, 21.44 meters uh, wide there was a pilot commander Sturman 
firemen. I mean fire firemen, not the uh, well. You get it. Those who fire. Check this out. Oh wow. It's probably hollow from inside mostly. The propellers are wooden because I don't know. Wow, it's a huge plane. To actually be standing here is awesome. You can actually touch it. Well, you probably shouldn't climb on it except if you're a child. And I'm standing on the actual aerodrome plates. This is really impressive. EL4. broken window or is it supposed to be with a cloth so here actual some um, probably recreated recreated the trenches and uh, fire positions gun fire position I would like to cover it with a drone with a drone but don't have it with me here in Russia. So these are a light air defenses. This is properly reserved preserved, really nice. This is some kind of a bunker. Really cool. Check this out. I'm going to check this. So this here is a uh, 61k released in 1939 here's for even a recreation of uh, ammunition thing uh, package and there's uh there's three of them here in this park a place for a shooter to sit and operate sort of works let's check out the uh, the bunker here uh, land bunker I have actually pretty decent knowledge about the bunkers of the first world war I filmed every base of Helsinki Espoimanta Russian Empire built in uh, 1914 to 1918 and sure this is something that's much more modern what I used to I'm used to a big uh, big and uh, concrete ones here is 52 K much bigger gun that we just saw Well, weapon uh, ammunition storages. And here we are entering the bunker. This is a very touching place. Hope you guys enjoyed to see this. Not just not meaning not being happy, but enjoyed. We're interested. Uh, subscribe and keep on watching. Next episode.